In Ulster County, it has been increasingly difficult to find housing due to a multitude of factors, including, but not limited to, the increasing price of rent, the large number of residents moving into the area following the COVID-19 pandemic, and the increased amount of houses being bought out to be used for online housing rental services, such as Airbnb. New Paltz in particular has been a hot housing market, not only from the increasing number of residents moving into the area, but also due to the high demand of off-campus housing from students at SUNY New Paltz every year. Good morning. My name is Nick Del Bianco and welcome to the New Paltz Spectator. Our reporter, Megan Sperry, talked to Sam, an intern for the local activism organization For the Many, to get an interview on this housing crisis and also to learn more about how local organizations and government are combating this issue. Thanks, Nick. I'm Megan Sperry, and today I'm in Peace Park in New Paltz, and I'll be interviewing Sam from For the Many. I'm Sam, um, they, them pronouns. Um, I'm a volunteer and a previous intern with For the Many. Well, For the Many is a grassroots organization working to organize people in the Hudson Valley to m fight and make change for everybody on the governmental level, um, working to pass changes that are not just for like millionaires, um, for the common people. Um, and they fight for a variety of issues. All of our issues come from like our base uh, where we're located, which is in this area, Poughkeepsie, Kingston, Newburgh, New Paltz um, is like our main places. Um, so all of our issues are focused on helping people in those areas better their everyday lives. So we work on housing, uh, environmental justice, or climate justice, which is the same thing. Uh, economic justice, immigration justice, all of that. So right now in New York State, there's 5.5 million people without protections from eviction. Um, and then we're also, in general, in a housing crisis, but specifically in this area, we are facing gentrification and lack of affordable housing. Um, affordable being defined as it costs 30% of your income level to like live there. Um, so like if you look at Poughkeepsie, there's 49% of people who live in per Poughkeepsie who don't live in affordable housing. Um, so they're spending more of their income that they should be spending on housing. Um, and then in general, lack of housing available due to gentrification in this area um, and housing being taken off the market. So what we do is we work to get people elected who will fight for us when they're in like the halls of power <laughs> is what we call it. Um, but also we work to get laws and legislation passed like on the outside. So it's a two part strategy. Um, so right now we're working on uh, passing and we have passed good cause eviction legislation, which will protect renters uh, by basically making landlords go in front of a judge and bring a good cause before they can evict their tenant. Um, it also protects um, tenants right to organize so they don't have to fear eviction if they are trying to organize to get better, you know, living accommodations like um, a lot of these landlords that are evicting people without cause also aren't really taking care of their properties and people are living in really bad conditions. So uh, you can't organize against that if you're scared of being evicted from your home. Uh, and another thing that this law would do is make it so uh, unconscionable, like re rent raises are illegal. So that's 5% over the course of a year. If your rent went up by 5%, that would be like unconscionable and it wouldn't be allowed. Um, um, so the best advice for people like looking for an apartment is to know your rights um, and know like your rights as a renter going into it. Um, and you can do that like if you go to our website for the menu.org we have a lot of information on good cause um, which has been passed in like three of these cities like I said. So knowing the actual information about it is super important so that your landlord can't try and pretend it doesn't exist. Um, so like definitely knowing your rights is the main thing. Um, and then, yeah, we don't unfortunately do like direct service. Like we don't have like a, a board or anything for housing. Um, we're always looking for volunteers. And since this is a student base, like students are a super big part of our work. Like I said, I was an intern um, and I was an intern for like two years and they have like all of these like student based opportunities to get involved with like student organizing and organizing you know everyone in your community um, and they're really good opportunities so if you're interested in that also check out our website because um, we would love to work with you basically yeah that's all awesome thank you special thanks to sam with for the many for more information visit for the many.org back to you nick
Thank you very much, Megan. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the commercial break. Stay tuned to learn more about this housing crisis as we will hear from a different perspective after the break. America is the richest country in the world. However, every night, millions of men, women, and children live under bridges, in abandoned buildings, in the woods, and in cars. It does not have to be this way. With the assistance of the federal government, we can begin to reduce those numbers substantially. But we need your help. Please support the National Coalition for the Homeless as we are fighting every day to end homelessness by pushing our elected officials to make this issue a priority. Join us in our fight to make housing a human right. Welcome back. Before our break, Megan talked with a spokesperson of a local organization about the housing crisis facing the Ulster County area in New Paltz. We also spoke with the New Paltz landlord who asked to remain anonymous to try to get an understanding of the other perspective of the story. I have been doing this since 1979, so that's like 39, 33 years. I have two five-bedroom homes, and uh, I think back in, in 79, I'm thinking 265 a month maybe, but of course, don't forget, oil was 50 cents a gallon, not $5. Uh, unfortunately, this year, I did have to raise the rent because the oil prices are just killer. Um, I, I have a lot of children, and not that I look at the college students here as my children, but I get along with most of them. And it's usually if there's something that happens and they immediately go to, you know, legalese and, you know, my father's a lawyer and this and that. And that just upsets me no end because I'm a reasonable person. And if anybody has a problem, I say, tell me about it and we'll work through it. This story continues to evolve with each passing day to, to the number of factors we've heard from our interviewees today. And we will only be able to see change through legislation. Don't forget to vote this election day. And tune in next week to, as we report on election results and what they mean for the future of this housing crisis between Ulster County and New Paltz. I've been your host, Nick Del Bianco. And this has been New Paltz Spectator. Have a good day.